afternoon. I've got lots of shout outs already. Got hi to Halle Beth, hi Elliot, got Sam in Nottingham, uh, got Catherine in Northampton, we've got Imogen in Denmead, got Harry, hello, hi Amelia in York, Adri Adriana in Manchester, Noah in Northern Ireland, hello, I've got Katie, got Ethan, got uh, Aidan St Albans, hi Hayden in Pitstone. It'll be nine tomorrow, happy birthday tomorrow, Hayden. Uh, Gabby in Bell Broughton. Um, Alex and James in London. Alex and James, whereabouts in London are you? Because I used to live in London. I'm always intrigued when people say they're from London. Um, thank you for joining in, last lesson of the week. Here's your challenge question to start. If you were with us yesterday, you know we were learning about compound area. So we're trying to find the area of this shape. Um, have a look, think what, things have we been given? What things have we not been given? Try and work those parts out and then you'll be able to find the area. If you weren't here yesterday, it might be a bit tricky, but just give it your best go. I'm going to do some more shout outs and then be back in a minute. Oh, got some answers. Hi. Oh, Walthamstow. Fantastic. I used to live in Hackney, so you're just up the road from where I used to live. <laughs> Hi Iona, in the Forest of Dean, what a beautiful place. Hi Amber in Northampton. Hi Sharia in Coventry. Hi Adam in Newcastle. Oh, got more answers coming in, oh. Yeah, I can see. There's some new people joining in today, so again, don't worry if it's your first lesson, you're not sure. We are doing actually a bit of a different topic today, so, um, and I'll come on to next week in a little bit. So let's get this down, give us some space. It's quite windy here today, where I am, so if you hear a big loud noise, it's the wind battering up against the window, so I apologise about that. Can't, can't control the wind. <laughs> So we've got a shape. We know how to find the area of a quadrilateral. A area of a quadrilateral we do base times height. But this is what we call a compound shape. And a compound shape is two is a, what well, two or more simple shapes put together to make a different shape. And here we've got two rectangles. You can either have a rectangle this way. Oh no, you've got well you've got a rectangle. You've got a square, or you've got two rectangles. Depends on which way you split it. What we have to do, we have to split the compound shape into two different shapes in order to find the overall area. So I'm going to split the shape this way. I'm doing it this way because I can immediately see that I can find the area of this part because I'm doing the base times the height and one times one is one. So the area of this square part of the compound shape is one centimeter square. Now, I need to now find the area of this rectangle. And you might think, oh, well, it's five times three. But it can't be five times three because the five only goes up to here and I need to go all the way across. So I actually need to find this length here in order to find the area of this part. So is there any parallel lines that can help me with that? Well, we've got five coming across here and then the one coming across here. So five plus one is six. So then there's six, so I've got my base times my height. So six times three is 18 centimeters squared. And then I add those together. So I've got my 18 here and my one there. So that's 19 centimeters squared. That is the area of my compound shape. Okay, like I said, I was saying yesterday, I said it over and over and over. It's a very tricky, definitely like higher year six. So don't worry if you're not sure about that. If you, like I say, if you can find the area and the perimeter of quadrilaterals and triangles, then you're fine. Last topic of the week, volume. Now then, and this is good because um, volume is something that can, it's on the year six curriculum, it can easily get missed off though. We, the, the area and perimeter is definitely the most important, 
volume you use more in secondary school but it's it's actually really not that hard so that's why I thought I've got to add it in today um, the three questions if you don't know what I mean about by three questions at 10 o'clock each morning before the lesson I put three questions up on my on my page you can do them at 10 o'clock you can do them at 12 o'clock you can do them five minutes before the lesson we will always go through them um, before I do the modelling, I'm actually going to talk through the first question with you. The question one was, how is the volume of a shape different from the area of the shape? So I'm going to show you that. And what unit of measurement is volume measured in? Right. So we know that perimeter, I'm going to just use a square. So we know the perimeter of the square is the distance around the outside of the shape. So if the square is a garden, the fence is the perimeter. If we want to find the area of the shape, we do base times height. So the base here times the height here, which gives us all the space inside of the square. So like the grass. So the perimeter would be, say, a fence and the area would be the grass. Now, volume, area perimeter is of 2D shapes. Volume is in 3D shapes. So if I made this square into this 3D shape, now then tell someone what 3D shape is that? If you've got a square on the face, what 3D shape is it? You're saying to someone in the room, saying it to yourself, saying it to a parent, saying it to a, a sibling, it's a cuboid, which I can't spell. <laughs> can't write it. Cuboid. Okay, it's a cuboid. Now, as we know, we know how to find the area of the square at the end. So imagine it's the face, that's what we call one side of a 3D shape, we call, we call it the face. We can find, we know how to find that face, but it's all this part that we don't know how to find. This is what you do. You still do the base, times the height and then you times it again by the depth. So it's D, the depth. So you do base times height times depth. So it's a something times something times something. Base times height times by depth because you've got that flat part and then it's how far back it goes. I'm going to show you an example which I hope will help. So imagine if you had, I'm going to try and draw this, imagine you've got, I'm sure you think, if you think of a, a wafer, like, you know like wafer chocolate that's really thin. So imagine if there's your wafer and it was say five centimetres across, 10 centimetres high and one centimetre thick. Okay, It's still a 3D shape. It's 10 times 5 which is 50 times by 1 which is 50. So the volume of this is 50 centimetres cubed. So rather than it being a two, it's a three. It's basically because because you're doing three multipl multiplied. Now rather than doing two, which is square, you're doing three, which is the volume. So if we've just got one, that would actually be the same, wouldn't it? As if you were doing area, because it's only one. Now then, imagine if you went back. So if you imagine you have this wafer, chocolate, but you can't just have one wafer. It'll blow away, <laughs> you won't be able to hold on to it. So maybe, imagine if the wafer was, say, about, I don't know, well, let's, let's have a quite a thick one. Let's say it's about ooh, seven centimetres. So imagine you had seven lots of those wafers. So two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. I'm going to be accurate with my drawing. That's seven, okay? So you've got your first flat face, which we know is 10 by five and it's just one thick. Now it's seven lots 
of that 10 by 5. So you do your 10 by 5 and then times it by 7 and that makes the overall volume of this wafer. I'm going to have to finish it. So 2, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just to make, I'm going to try and make it as clear as possible. One wafer is just base times height. But if you've got more than one, you times by however many you go back. So we've got our base times height, which is 50. So we did 10 times 5. And then we're going back 7. So 10 times 5 is 50. 7 fives is 35. So it'd be 350 uh, centimetres cubed. Cubed because it's going into a cube or a cuboid shape. Okay, I'll show you another one. All you just got to remember is you're doing the area, but then it goes back a bit more. So I'll do another one. Just gonna, I'm gonna try. Oh, that's. I'm gonna do a DVD box set. There we go. So the height of this box set is. I'm going to say, uh, I know, I'm going to do a box. I'm going to do a box. Now I want to keep the numbers nice. I'm going to do the box is five metres high. And I'm going to say that it is four metres wide. Okay. I'm trying to do this as accurate as possible. Yeah, at five centimetres high, four metres wide, and three metres deep. Okay. We'll put that there instead, actually. So you've got your 5 times 4, which is 20. So this here is 20, but then it goes back 3. So 20 times by 3. Well, 2 3s are 6. So it's 60 metres cubed. And it's not just cubes and cuboids. You can do it with this. Who can name the popular chocolate brand? Which chocolate has that shape? And for some reason, all dads like it. My dad loves this band of chocolates, the Toblerone. Anyone heard of the Toblerone? So, the end face here is a triangle, okay? To find the area of a triangle, it's half base times height, okay? So the base here, I'm just going to do it as two centimetres, okay? The height, I'm going to do as five centimetres. We need to do half base times height. That's the rule of finding the area of a triangle. It's base times height and then you halve the answer. So two times five is ten. Half that is five. So the face here is five centimetres. And the Toblerone itself is, well, I'm going to say eight centimetres in depth. So then we do five times two, which is ten. Half it, which is five, times by eight. So five times eight is 40. So 40 centimetres cubed, cubed. I just wanted to show you that one to make sure you know that it's not quadrilaterals, it's not just cuboids, it's not just cubes. You can have pentagonal prisms and all sorts, yeah? You can have all sorts of shapes, but they've obviously all got their own rules. I'm not going into pentagons and hexagons and things. I'm just going to show you the cube, cuboids and um, triangles because I just want you to learn the basics of volume. Okay, so it's three measurements, base times height by depth, and it's part three on here. So let's go through the three challenge questions. Just gonna get, I've lost my blue tack. Here it is. So we've already gone through question one. Question one was, how is volume different from area and perimeter? Volume is different from area and perimeter because volume 
extends backwards. It's not just a flat shape, which is 2D, it's 3D. So area is 2D, volume is 3D. Question two is this. Okay. So basically, as well as measuring volume, you've got 3D shape here. What is the volume of this shape if each one of these squares is in one centimetres by one centimetres by one centimetres. So what is the volume of each cube? And then how many cubes are there all together to make your total volume? So one cube is one centimetre by one centimetre by one centimetre. What is the total volume of this shape? Be careful. And then the next question, question three, was this. Oh, my drawing is rubbish today. So we had seven by three by four. And I wanted to know the volume of that shape. I'm just going to check that it's actually on... Yeah, it's just fitted on. So seven high, three wide, four deep. What is the volume of this shape? Give those two a go and I'll see how you're all doing, what you're all saying. Oh, already having a go on the first one. Fantastic. Hi, Daisy and Bridget. Hi, Kayan. Hi Ava, <laughs> Toblerone, <laughs> I'm glad you all know the Toblerone, <laughs> that's good. Hi Fionn in Northern Ireland, welcome, thank you for joining in. Bookshaw. Okay, we've got answers coming in for both of them now. Hi, Owen and Aidan. Hi, Breeze in London. Okay, right. So the first one, you have to be careful because you can't see them all. So one centimetre by one centimetre by one centimetre tells us that each cube is one centimetre, so we simply just need to count how many cubes there are. So there's one, and then two, three, four, five, but there's also two more hidden here. You can see the six, and there's a, another one hidden behind here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven centimetres cubed with this one. Oh, I've got the answer there. Seven centimetres cubed. So one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah? With this one, remember, we do base times by height. So three times by seven. And then times by the depth. Four. So three sevens are 21. And then you need to do 21 times by four. So one four is four, and two fours are eight. So it's 84 centimetres cubed. Yeah, well done for giving that a go. Fantastic. So it's not actually, I don't think volume's that hard. It looks like, oh wow, 3D shapes. But no, it's not that hard. It's just an extra length. And you don't need to halve anything like you do with triangles or put anything into brackets. You've just got to spot them. Right, we're already on to challenge question time, which is amazing. So I'll do two um, quadrilateral based ones, and then I might go on to another triangle one. So I've got a question, let's do question one here, and we'll do question two here, so I've got some space. So I would like you to find... All I'm going to say, I'm going to be 
is that it is it is a six meter cube that's all i'm going to say and with this one you'll probably have done that first question before i've even drawn the second question i'm gonna to have to let my drawing go here because it's not great is it <laughs> this is i'm going to say 10 meters by seven meters by ooh, 20 meters so 10 meters by seven meters by 20 meters give that a go brilliant well done fantastic Hi Macy, hello. Ah, you're all working away. Oh, that's a very good point. I like that point. I'm going to mention that in a second. with the first one. Some of you are putting 18 and it's not quite 18. Just going to step in here quickly. Remember it's base times height times depth. And if what if it's a cube and we know the height is six meters. What's the rest going to be? And what's the calculation? Just a quick tip there. Okay, we've got similar answers coming in for the last one. few more seconds. Right, yeah, okay. So because it's a cube, all sides are the same length. So it's six meters by six meters by six meters. Okay, so you only need to be given one side. So it's six times six times six. Six six is a thirty-six. So you do six times those six, so six sixes we know again, 36. And six threes are 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, so it's meters, isn't it? Okay, so remember the unit of measurement, I've used meters. Let me just check, see how I have a look. Yeah, well done, fantastic. Yeah, so 216. With this one, it's 10 times uh, 7, which is 70, because you're doing this part first. So the depth, base is 10, height is 7, so that's 70 times by 20. Well, if you add another 0, that's 700, and if you times that by 2, 1,400 metres cubed. Okay. Two more, and then I think you lot have cracked it, because you're doing brilliantly. Might have to think of a really hard one. Oh, right. This one. I'm going to do another Toblerone here. Or a, or a tent. Maybe a tent. So, the depth I'm going to do is seven centimetres. I'm going to do the base as three centimetres and the height I'm going to do as five centimetres. That's question one. 
In question two, I'm going to do another cuboid. I'm going to do it as five centimetres. So we do it as a cube, so five centimetres by five centimetres. And I'm going to say that the whole volume is 250 metres cubed. So what is the depth? So you need to find the depth that question okay brilliant well done everybody fantastic really well done Well done, fantastic. Hi Cody, age nine in Birmingham. I'm gonna come on to next week in a minute guys, don't worry. Don't worry. Amazing. Yes, sorry, it has gone a bit blurry. If you just, if you press refresh, I think it's because there's so many people watching. If you just press refresh, it seems to come up a bit. I've had to do it a couple of times because it's, you guys are just, your brains are working so amazingly. It's gone a bit blurry. We've nearly finished though. So well done. <gasps> Aren't you guys amazing? Okay, so let's have a look. So it's a triangle here, so we need to find the area of the tri triangle first before we do the volume. Area of a triangle is half base times height. The base is 3 and the height is 5. 3 fives are 15, okay? Half of 15, oh, what is half of 15? 7.5. So it's gone into a decimal. I had to make it tricky for you. So then it's 7.5 times by 7. So 7 fives are 35. 7 7 is 49. 50, 51, 52. So it's 52.5 centimetres cubed. So 5 times 3 is 15. Half the answer times it by 7. Here we go. Now with this one, I want you to find the depth. And you've been given the volume already. So first of all, you need to work out what the area of the face is. 5 times 5 is 25. So what do I do to 25 to make it into 250? What is that depth? What do I times 25 by to make the total volume? I times 25 by 10 to make it into 250. So the depth is 10. Fantastic, well done. That's really, really good. Okay, really, really pleased with you. And well done, you've all graduated from area and perimeter and volume of all different levels. Fantastic. Right, those of you asking, I am here next week. I am here on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Unfortunately, not Friday, but you do get me on the bank holiday on um, Monday. Uh, I'm going to put up the topics, but I'll give you a little sneak peek now. We're going to do ratio and proportion next week. But a lot of you have asked for percentage of numbers. How do I find, say, 15% of this? I did do a non-live lesson on it because some people really, really needed it. So I did a lesson where no one was watching and you got to catch up on YouTube. But I'm going to do a lesson where you can all join in. So that's on Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is ratio and proportion. It's normally tackled in year six, but again, like all the topics that I do, I try and make it accessible for all of Key Stage 2 so that when you do get to Year 6, you've seen it before, or if you already are in Year 6, you get to revise it and practice it again. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, especially with it being a bank holiday, but I'm going to see you on Monday anyway. 
I'm going to put a challenge question up related to volume right now and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.